All right, what is going on guys? I'm We Got Bored and welcome back to another video. Now today's video, which I'm sure none of you guys can guess at all, not even by the title or the fact that I've been making so many of these types of videos lately, today's video is gonna be a story time video, okay? We're switching it up a little. I know I've been making a lot of story time videos lately and that's just because I think it's the most entertaining type of video I do and also because they get tons of support from you guys, even though the last video I did, which was a vlog, also got a lot of support from you guys, but the vlogs aren't really a regular thing. Like I made a couple while I was on vacation. There are more vlogs coming soon from that vacation that we did because we did go to Egypt after we went to London because I'm from there. But in general, the vlogs aren't gonna be a regular thing, so here we are doing more story time videos. I just realized that we're almost a minute into the video and I still haven't acknowledged the fact that I'm using Roblox Nerf War gameplay in the background. What am I doing with this channel? <laughs> Okay, so this story time is gonna be another school story because pretty much all of my story times are. So a couple months ago, I was at school and we were in gym class, right? And gym class, you know, gym class is usually a pretty normal class. Everybody's hot and sweaty and everything smells bad. But other than that, it's usually a pretty normal class. So there was this one kid that was in my class for gym and we weren't super close friends. Like we had played Xbox a couple times, but other than that, we weren't really, really good friends. And so he was talking to me this one day in gym class and he's like, yo, your brother has a PC, right? And I'm like, yeah, he does because my brother has a PC. And he's like, uh, can I buy it from him? And I was like, no, uh, well, what do you mean? It's not for sale. Why would you want to buy it anyway? You have an Xbox, right? Because we had played Xbox earlier. And he's like, well, you see, I don't really have my Xbox anymore. And I'm like, what? Well, why? What happened? Like, did you break it or something? And he's like, no, my parents took it away pretty much for life. So I'm just sitting there like, oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, what could you possibly have done to get your Xbox taken away for life? But of course, I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be a little civilized. So I'm like, uh, so, uh, w what did you do to make your parents take it away from you? And as soon as I asked him that, his face just turned bright red, and I'm like, what, uh, are, are you good? Are you good? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. And I'm like, so what did you do? And he goes, something really bad. And I'm just like, wow, no shit. And so I'm like, okay, uh, what, what did you do? Like, something bad. Of course you did something bad. What was the bad thing that you did? And he's like, I already told you. Something really bad. So using my detective skills, I could kind of figure out, even with my small brain, that because he didn't actually say what he did, he was trying to cover up something really, really bad that he did, which is why all he said was, I did something really, really bad. But me being the story time news reporter that I am, I needed to figure out the whole story. So there's another kid in my gym class who I'm actually good friends with and he's this kid's neighbor and I'm like okay so if he's his neighbor he should probably know what's up so I go and ask him what happened and he's like yeah I was there when it happened so basically he spent a bunch of money on his parents credit card and so after hearing this I was like okay 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 spending money that your parents don't know about is a pretty bad thing to do okay I do not recommend that you guys do this top five do's and don'ts for kids number five do not steal money from your parents credit card like spending money on your parents credit card without them knowing is a really bad thing to do but it shouldn't be worth a huge punishment depending on how much you spent so I asked him how much did he spend really and my friend goes pretty much five thousand dollars and I'm just just like what when do you think it's a good idea to spend five thousand dollars on your parents credit card like this kid i knew this kid wasn't the brightest okay this kid that did all this i knew he wasn't the brightest but how dumb do you have to be to think that you can get away with spending five thousand dollars on your mommy and daddy's credit card and not have them know by the way if you're watching this video the kid who did this you know who you are but if you are watching this video i'm sorry for flaming you but that was really dumb and so my friend's explaining this to me he's like like, yeah, so I was actually at his house when he did all this and I tried to stop him. Like, I was trying to tell him, dude, this is not gonna work out well. There is no way that this is gonna work out in your favor. You're not gonna get away with this. Just stop. And he goes, no, trust me. This is an old credit card that my parents don't use anymore. So if I spend money on it, it won't matter because they don't use it anymore and they won't realize. So because he's dumb enough to think that his parents won't realize if he spends $5,000 on their old credit card, he goes and spends $5,000 on their old credit card. You know what, I just realized that this is getting pretty confusing between like who's who, like who's the kid who spent all the money, who's like the kid who was telling all this to me, and who's me. So I'm just gonna make names for everybody in the story, okay? Not the real names, of course, because I never use anybody's real names. So let's call the kid who spent all the money on his parents' credit card Randy, and let's call the other kid who I'm friends with who's explaining all this to me, uh, kid with a brain. So I'm talking to kid with a brain, and I'm like, okay, so how did his parents end up finding out? Like he was pretty sure they didn't use the credit card anymore. And so he goes, yeah, they did 
don't use it anymore, but it's still hooked up to their old iPad. And Randy's little brother was playing with the iPad, and when he saw you just spend $5,000, he was really confused, so he went and asked the parents. And then of course the parents were like, we didn't spend $5,000, so let's just say it was not a good day for Randy. And so then I went back to Randy, because now I knew what he had done, and it wasn't like Kid With A Brain was just telling me everything behind his back, like Randy was there while he told it to me, and he was just kind of sitting there acting disappointed. And so I'm like, hold up, Randy, I'm trying to get him out of a bad situation, okay? So I'm like, wait, do you have like a decent amount of money? Because you could just pay your parents back. I mean, you probably don't have the full $5,000, but maybe you could at least make up for some of the $5,000 that you spent without your parents knowing. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to redeem him a little bit, okay? And I forget how much money he said exactly that he had, but he's like, bruh, I have, insert some number less than $1,000, which wouldn't make up for much. So yeah, moral of the story, uh, don't steal your parents' money. Oh wait, hold up, you thought I was done? No siree, there is still much more to this story, and by that I mean an extra two minutes maximum. So the whole thing kind of blows over, he's just kind of in a really bad situation, and we don't really talk about it much more, but then about a week later, Randy comes up to me at school and he goes, dude, great news, my parents gave me my Xbox back. And I was like, hold up, no way, there's no way your parents actually gave you your Xbox back. Like, taking your Xbox away was a really small punishment for spending $5,000 of their money without telling them. And now your parents are giving it back? Like, what, what could you possibly have done? And so he explains it to me, and most companies have a system where if somebody accidentally spends money on their site or like their kid gets a hold of their stuff and like doesn't know any better and they spend a bunch of money, usually if you call them and tell them it was an accident or it was your kid, if they believe you, they'll give the money back. So he's like, yeah, we just called them and we got all the money back and everything's fine. And so then I'm like, okay, good for you. Like, great, I'm glad things worked out. I'm just glad that everything worked out fine for a good old Randy over here. But you might be thinking, Adam, you didn't tell us what he spent the $5,000 on. What could he have possibly spent $5,000 on his parents' credit card on? What could have been so important that he had to do all this just for that? And to that I say, NBA 2K. That's right, our boy Randy went through all this for some NBA 2K characters or whatever you spend money on in 2K. <laughs> But on that note, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it. As always, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We got bored for more random videos at random times, and I will see you guys in the next one.